Ikea has some amazing household items like placemats, napkins, dish towels, so I picked up a few of these things and I thought it might be fun to put some personality to them. I picked up eight of these placemats at $2.99 each and I'm gonna use these modern arrows with Redesign with Prima. What I love about this stencil, it's a stick and style and there's a huge selection to choose from. What's super nice about these stencils is they will stick exactly in place that you need, which works fantastic for fabric. There's not a lot of room for air when you're going to apply a dye onto a fabric, so you kind of want to make sure that you're going to get it right the first time, so the stick and style is perfect. I'm actually going to use old white chalk paint as a stain, and I'm just going to use a stencil dabber. What I want to actually create is a little bit of a faded look for these placemats. It's super easy to use paint as a stain to create a design and it's really easy to seal this in and we'll get to that in just a minute. When you're using a fabric, what you're going to end up doing when you're doing it in this way that I'm showing you right now is you're actually going to pick up a little bit of the fiber off the placemat and it may actually end up having some paint on it. Not to worry, it will actually, it's like pilling, it will come off. What's really nice about these stencils is I can keep reusing them and the stick will last. So I can do all six that I bought. So whether you're gonna use Dollar Store or Ikea, this is a great way to add dimension and some fun design. I also picked up napkins because I have somebody who loves to steal napkins. I much prefer to use the cloth napkins and then wash them versus using up a paper towel. It's just more eco-friendly. And these come in many different colors and it was only $4.99 for the pack. So I was able to pick up four packs of these and I have plenty even when I have guests come over. But even if you wanted to do design or maybe you have a theme that you're going to be hosting or maybe it's a specific occasion like a holiday, this is a great way to buy inexpensive household items that everybody uses. And these stick and styles by Redesign with Prima are fantastic for this DIY. And there is a huge selection and you can head to their website and see what's available. I bought four packs totaling 16 napkins and I was able to reuse this exact same peel and stick that I have right now on all of them. And I tried to actually use the dauber, but I actually even enjoyed using the sponge brush and I found that, that I was able to just kind of dab on with the sponge brush. So you don't really even need any fancy tools in order to use these stencils. And like I said, with the stick and style, it stays exactly in place where you need it. So you can keep reusing the same stencil cut that you started with. This was a super fast, inexpensive project and to seal your paint dye, you're just gonna use your iron on a low setting. I picked up a bunch of these tea towels and they're just plain, very simple, but they're very helpful for around the home. And for a Canadian dollar at 99 cents, you can't really go wrong. So I just removed the tags, just like I did with the napkins and the placemats, and I'm just gonna iron them out. Because this one, I wanted to actually try a stamp. And with a huge selection of stamp ideas, you can really, again, add some fun personality to everyday household items. So I decided to go with the Clearly Aligned Sweet Tea Stamp Pack. And there is a bunch of actual words that are similar to something you could use in a bathroom, you could use in a laundry room, you could use for a kitchen. So I'm gonna take a few of these and they all come in separate stamps. So you can pick out which words that you want to place. And I'm gonna use the chalk paint as a dye. 
This will be even easier than the stencils. Same as the placemats and the napkins, I'm going to use the chalk paint as a die and I'm going to actually roll it onto the stamps. Now the trick is with the stamps is it's going to come in the proper written form straight up, but when you're doing the stamp you're actually going to want to flip them upside down and use your roller on the stamp upside down so the word will actually come on backwards. Then you'll be able to place it upright and now the word will be in its proper form. But this will apply to any stamp. It will come upright, but you're actually going to be painting the reverse side to stamp. The stamp itself is proliferated just enough that you can get your paint and or you could use an ink if you wanted to, and you can get a perfect stamp every time. I always love having coasters and I love these cork styles. I have the flat ones already, but these ones actually have a little bit of a rim. And at $2.99 a pack, I thought these would be great. So I bought three packs of these, giving me six coasters. But I'm actually gonna demonstrate with four of them what you could do if you wanted to add in a little decorative finishing to this. This white paper that came in the packaging, I'm gonna use that as a template to create what I want. And I will be using a transfer and it's really easy to apply. I can actually get four or five projects out of one of these transfers. This particular transfer came with four sheets and I've already used one for one project. So I'm only going to be using half a one for this project. So you could get quite a few DIY projects out of one transfer. So again, I'm going to use that white circle that the actual package came with as a template to make a perfect circle just with the Sharpie. Now to be able to apply a transfer, it's really just a rub on transfer. So now that we have that perfect center that will match the inside of the cup coaster, you're just going to use the little wood stick that they come with and you're just gonna rub them in. And again, with the transfer designs that are available, it's just endless with the ideas. And again, you can pick so many different types of styles to match your decor. The same concept, if you're looking for different designs with things you already have around the house, you could even do this with Mod Podge and a decoupage. But I really enjoy putting a little detail to the small items that are, are sitting around your home on everyday use that we use. Again, from the cloth napkins, placemats, cup coasters, and it's really endless on the little things that you could create for personality around the home. So when I was at the ReStore, I found these tiles and they only had a couple left. And I actually thought by repurposing them for other uses, this would be a great way to demonstrate how easy it is to make stackable coasters. So what I'm gonna do is separate these out first. And I'm also gonna get a sanding block out because the edges are a little bit rough. And so with a fine grit, we'll sand that out first. I still had some scrap leftover decoupage paper. This is what's really fun about keeping those little extra scraps for these smaller little DIY projects. I also got these little bumpers, Mod Podge, and a glue stick so this way I can apply a decoupage to the top of each of these octagon style tiles. 
Now to prevent the decoupage paper from kind of creating extra bubbles, I'm making relief cuts around the shape of the actual tile itself. So just by using a Sharpie, I went around and made the points at the edges. Now what I can do is when I put down the Mod Podge, then I can put the decoupage paper on top. This way, when I'm rubbing the paper down, it's not going to kind of coil into itself and it will actually go down a lot smoother. And then I can just sand off the edges and continue to sand around the sides of this actual tile to make a nice smooth surface. I much prefer to use the cling wrap as a way to actually smooth down my decoupage piece pieces. This way I don't chance actually tearing them because anytime I've used my fingers, I find that sometimes the glue has moistened the paper and this may cause it to shred. Making it really easy for myself with those pre-cuts, giving it the decoupage relief points. Now I can just use a sanding block at a 45 degree angle and I'll get nice even cuts all the way around the actual tile. So I only made a set of four and then what I'm gonna do is add a little bumper at the bottom so that way they don't slide. The small little plastic bumpers that I got, and they're actually clear, they're for cabinets, so that way when you go to close the door, it reduces the sound, but it actually can work as a little rubber bumper, so that's what I'm going to use four on each of these tiles for my coasters. Everything that I've made on this video is super great for gifts. You can actually package this up and make personalized gifts. And again, these are just great ways to add a little bit of design and elements and embellishments for around your home. And it really doesn't have to be expensive or a very long project. With so many different stencil ideas and decoupage ideas, I mean, it's really endless of the design elements and embellishments that you can create with these really small DIY ideas for around your home for everyday purposes. And all of these are great for holiday season. So for Christmas or Easter or Thanksgiving, you can create a whole theme and it certainly doesn't have to be expensive and it's fun to create. All of these DIYs that I've demonstrated in this video are super easy and they can apply to an outdoor eating setting that you may have in your backyard. Thank you so much for watching this week's video and I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. Until then, take care.